what's up guys we've seen so far the differential method and we've seen the graphical method the numerical method sorry about that and the polynomial fit method so you have no idea what I'm talking about go back to the three last videos we've seen how to get those differential values for the differential method so Either method you use, graph, numerical, or polynomial, you should get at the ending of that process this table. So the first two rows here, you will get them from the experiment data. Because you uh, run the experiment, you calculate the concentration, and you set the time at which time it was taken. Now the, the derivative of that is a whole new thing. You need to apply either graph, numerical, or polynomial data. But once we got it, Let's see how we will calculate those data. Now, remember this equation here. Well, the important thing here is to get any of these here. And uh, if I were you, I would calculate every single set if possible, and then compare them. And if there's no variation, you can say that yes, actually it respects your model, and you will get your m, which is the slope, which is essentially just the difference of y, which is the natural logarithm of the derivative of the concentration with respect of time and the difference of concentration or natural logarithm of concentration now once we got alpha we got the order remember to round to the nearest number so if you got 1.98 of course you have no order of that that means you have almost second order you may use that one but it will not be nice you will have very crazy units like 1.98 cubic meters Oh, sorry, meters and etc. So you have m here, you would finish with m to 0.98, which is crazy. I would say just meters, but okay. Then after you get alpha, substitute this concentration of a to the alpha power and find any of the values you got here. And as I told you before, do it for everyone, each of or every every one of these, and you just try to see how much standard deviation do you have. Hopefully you don't have that much and you can say that your model is or your k is a constant and it's not moving. So it's time to go to the example. I got this example. Actually I'm just going to explain you how to do it because I'm going to post the whole problem here in this web page. So go to the courses and check it out. But at the moment let me show you the example. So we got this reaction of methyl chloride triethyl which is this one here let's call it A we got methanol which is B and this let's say C and D okay this is pyridine reacts with HCl blah 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 reaction reversible okay so it's irreversible so we can apply our problem uh, okay we got this data which is time versus concentration just be sure that this is actually not this is this concentration here but they tend to 10 to the 3, so you have very nice numbers, 58, 38, 3.6, etc. Actually, the initial concentration, they tell you, is 0 0.05 molar, which means 50, if you have the 10 to the 3 here. So, if you got the initial concentration of that, this part 1, determine the reaction order with respect to 3-phenylmethyl chloride, which is just get alpha. And remember guys, we need to postulate the rate law. And I just want to tell you that this has nothing to do with a differential method. This will be done in every case we wanted to determine the rate law. Now select the reactor type, which is batch. I want to use my batch because they tell you here, actually, well, yeah, they tell you they got it in a batch reactor. So I'm going to use a batch reactor. I'm going to process the data in terms of measured data, which actually I don't need to do something else, it's only here. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. 
also sharing is caring so if you got any kind of friends teachers colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content why not share it sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content if you want to keep track of my activity videos uploads experiments playlists whatever content i'm getting on youtube be sure to click the subscribe button subscribing to the channel is totally free guys My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.